Africa. South Africa. She has been Collected by Jane. Can see now trying to tell him, let's slow things down. Another long ball to Khatana. Another break for Khatana. Another time! And she makes it 1 0. She's had three chances. She messed up the first two, but she was never going to be denied for a third time in this game. Her pace, Elasto, second to none. Championship. When you go to fast forward 2011, that's when South Africa and Zimbabwe. They just it! it is Makore! I did say you lose her once, that's all you have to do. Things look very tight. The coach of South Africa be known as Dumpy. <laughs> the Zimbabwean coach is known as Gwinji. Gwinji, yes. Here's a long ball paid in towards the penalty area now. It is Chantel Asau. Does well, long ball paid in. And oh! Comes back in, what did they say? It is the ball in the I was ecstatic. You could see all of us. We ran to the corner to celebrate. Even the Benz joined to, to celebrate with us. Um, for us, it's a big achievement as a team. A lot of new players are within the squad. And for some of us, it was our first Kusafa, even for me as well. So to win a gold medal here, yeah, it's good for us. A fantastic moment, not just for us, but for everyone. Um, we don't play for ourselves. We play for a whole lot of people back home. And uh, this is for everybody back home, the parents, the coaches, because they have contributed to these players. And But I said before, this is a special group. And today, once again, they proved how special they are. The team has a never say die attitude, and uh, uh, we, we knew it was going to be a tough match um, because of the semi-final as well. But not also that, playing against Zimbabwe, the host, um, having the 12th man, the crowd. Uh, but I thought we were in control the whole of the first half. And just uh, 20 minutes uh, after the second half, we lost it a bit. Then got back in and uh, uh, scored it right at the end. So, fantastic victory. The teamwork that you've shown here in the, this tournament, looking at the fact that the semi final, when everybody has written off, off we came back from 3 0 down to winning the penalties. And for us to come back here in a fully packed stadium to play the final against Zimbabwe, it showed that we are not intimidated by the fans. We've played in fully packed stadiums before, we've known how to turn the crowds in our favor. And even though when Zimbabwe game they equalized, we didn't look down and just give up. We had the courage and the strength to keep on going as a team. We're sure that uh, with this performance and this achievement, uh, it's going to lead to better and greater things for them and we certainly hope that they are going to qualify for the, all the big upcoming tournaments and that they're going to do incredibly well there too. It was great to see how the team uh, played uh, at Kosafa. It shows that the girls really wanted to do well. The spirit in the team was magnificent. The players, they were all together and they only had one goal, which was to win the Kosafa. At Sasol we believe in women empowerment and Sasol create an opportunity for players to realize their dream of uh, playing for the country and we say congratulations and we are happy for them. Throughout the tournament you saw the team's growth, the individual performances coming through, uh, the team as a collective really pulling together. So I want to congratulate them. Uh, we now know that we have enough players both inside the country as well as abroad to put together a formidable squad to begin to challenge for the crown on the African continent and also for a place in the World Cup. So uh, we are extremely delighted. We're not only doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for our South African people, we're doing it for the Sasso League players who are always supporting us, who are there to show that we're behind the team and for those who couldn't make it in the team. We always make sure that we're not only doing it for ourselves, but for everybody who's involved. And with this going forward, we're hoping that many doors will be open, many tournaments are going to be won. So hopefully this is the beginning of more great things to come. The players that uh, came uh, to the team also brought positivity. And, you know, with them performing there and playing their first tournament and seeing uh, the, the, the performance that uh, they, they brought out for South Africa, it was uh, amazing. And, you know, it shows that South Africa, uh, women's football has, has a bright future. And I'm just excited. <laughs> very, very strong.